Are you ready to make a move on Apple stock? Get ready for an in-depth analysis of Apple. Our initial report was just the beginning. Now, we're diving even deeper to provide you with all the crucial insights. Don't miss out on the latest updates. Remember to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell to stay ahead of the game and make informed investment decisions. Take your trading decisions to the next level with our cutting-edge AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Unleash the power of artificial intelligence and access free price predictions and in-depth analysis for over 25,000 companies worldwide. Remember, this video is for informational purposes only. It's time to take charge of your investments, but always consult a financial advisor for personalized advice. Hey there! Guess what? Our system has just ranked Apple as a sell candidate since September 6, 2023. The score it received is minus 1.19, and you won't believe what happened next. Brace yourself, because we're about to dive into the stock's performance during this period. It's going to be quite a roller coaster ride. Hold on tight. The stock experienced a loss of minus 2.96%. Can you imagine that? We'll break it down even further for you. Get ready for this mind blowing fact. On average, it suffered a daily loss of minus 0.13% since it was listed as a sell candidate. Unbelievable, right? Are you ready for an exciting stock analysis? Let's dive in. Brace yourself for some interesting insights. The stock we're looking at is currently experiencing a wide and falling trend in the short term. Hold on tight because this trend suggests a potential minus 10.52% change over the next three months. But that's not all, there's a possible return between minus 18.18% and minus 8.24%. Now, let's shift our focus to the 12-month trend. Get ready for some big numbers. It suggests a whopping 37.28% change over the next year. That's huge. And guess what? The potential return ranges from 29.60% to 60.30%. Can you imagine the possibilities? So, if you're wondering about the future price, hold your breath. After a year, the price could range from $230.03 to $284.51. That's definitely something to keep an eye on. Welcome back to our daily update on Apple. Today's headline reads, Exciting News. Apple's stock price soared to $177.49 on Friday, marking a remarkable gain of 1.48%. In the latest trading session on Friday, October 6, 2023, Apple's stock price experienced a significant surge, rising from $174.91 to $177.49. This marks the third consecutive day of gains for Apple's stock. Will this winning streak continue, or will there be a slight pause in the coming days? The price exhibited a fluctuation of 2.78% during the trading day, ranging from a low of $173.18 to a high of $177.99. Over the past two weeks, the stock has shown an impressive increase of 1.54%. Notably, the volume of shares traded also increased on the last day, indicating a positive technical momentum. A total of 10 million more shares were traded compared to the previous day, with a total of 57 million shares exchanged, amounting to around $10.15 billion in value. Let's take a look at the stock's performance over the past year. The highest price reached in the last 52 weeks was $198.22, while the lowest price was $124.17. Currently, the stock is trading at a level that is 10.46% below its 52-week high, with a difference of $20.73. Furthermore, it is 22.24% below the all-time high, which was achieved on August 30, 2018, when the price soared to $228.26. Breaking News, Apple Analyst Ratings Hold on to your seats as we dive into the latest analyst ratings for Apple. It's just been reported that Goldman Sachs has given Apple a glowing by grade with a hold action. But wait, there's more. Last week, Rosenblatt Securities chimed in with a neutral grade and a hold action for Apple. And that's not all. Wedbush, another top analyst firm, 
has given Apple an impressive outperform grade, also with a hold action. Apple is clearly making waves in the market, with Morgan Stanley recently upgrading their rating to overweight alongside a hold action. And finally, Barclays, a renowned financial institution, has given Apple an equal weight grade, keeping a hold action in place. Are you ready to hear some exciting news about Apple stock? Well, hold on tight because analysts are giving it a general strong buy rating. That's not all. They also rate the P.E. ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. It's like hitting the jackpot. Wait, there's more. When it comes to return on investment, the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. So, it's not a complete home run, but still promising. Are you ready to dive into the world of Apple stocks? Let's uncover some exciting signals. Brace yourself. There's a buy signal that emerged from a pivot bottom point on Wednesday, September 27, 2023, and guess what? It has already soared by 4.14%. But that's not all. The three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD, is also flashing a buy signal. The volume is rising alongside the price, making it a promising technical signal. However, hold on tight because there are a few negative signals that might influence the short-term outlook. Don't worry, there's still hope. The Apple stock holds a buy signal from the short-term moving average. On the flip side, the long-term average suggests a general sell signal. With the long-term average above the short-term average, the stock leans towards a more negative forecast. As the stock aims for further gains, it will face resistance from the long-term moving average at $177.59. Conversely, if there's a fall, the stock can find support from the short-term average at $173.44. The plot thickens. Breaking through the long-term average will ignite another buy signal, while falling below the short-term average will strengthen the general sell signal. It's a battlefield for the stock, and we're here to witness it all. Stay tuned for the latest updates on Apple stocks. Get ready to discover some intriguing signals that could pique your interest. Brace yourself for the moving average convergence divergence, presenting a compelling buy signal. Keep an eye out for the pivots, which triggered a buy signal 8 days ago. Let's not forget the Bollinger Bands, which flashed a buy signal 24 days ago. In addition, the short-term moving average sent a buy signal 6 days ago, signaling potential opportunities. However, the long-term moving average issued a sell signal 24 days ago, suggesting caution. Furthermore, the relationship between the short and long moving averages indicated a buy signal 21 days ago. Now, shifting our focus to the 12-month chart, we uncover fascinating insights. The short moving average recently generated a buy signal just 3 days ago. Contrastingly, the long-term moving average revealed a sell signal 23 days ago, urging vigilance. Unveiling the intriguing relationship between the short and long moving averages, a buy signal emerged 27 days ago. Remember to visit our page at stockinvest.us for more intriguing signals that could shape your investment decisions. Let's talk about Apple support, risk, and stop loss. Apple has found support from accumulated volume at $176.30. This level presents a potential buying opportunity, as we can expect an upwards reaction when the support is tested. What's great about this stock is that it tends to have very controlled movements, making the risk considered very low. Plus, with good liquidity, it's even more appealing. In the last day, the stock had a price range of $4.81 between its high and low, representing a 2.78% fluctuation. Over the past week, the stock has shown a daily average volatility of 1.97%. Hey there, before we dive into the exciting world of trading levels for Apple, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data that every investor should know. First up, let's talk about the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This ratio is a powerful tool that measures a company's current share price relative to its per-share earnings. It's like a window into the company's financial health and investor sentiment. And guess what? Apple's P-E ratio is in a sweet spot, just like those iconic iPhones they make. Now, here's an exciting update for all you Apple enthusiasts. The next earnings report for Q3 2023 is expected on October 26, 2023. 
analysts' consensus estimates are at $1.39. These numbers can have a major impact on the stock prices, so keep a close eye on them. Get ready for some exciting insights into Apple's day trading levels. Brace yourself for potential upward trends. The first resistance level to watch out for is at a thrilling $177.56. If you're not already in the game, consider waiting until this level is breached before making your move. And for those already in the game, this could be the perfect opportunity for some exciting swing trading. But that's not all. Let's explore the downside too. Apple faces its first support level at an intriguing $176.30. If this level holds, it might just be your golden ticket to enter the market and anticipate a rebound. Exciting times lie ahead. Get ready for some exciting news about Apple. According to various expert analysts, Apple's combined average rating is a strong buy. But wait, there's more. Let's dive into some recent insider trades. On October 1, 2023, Jeffrey E. Williams made a bold move with an insider buy of 136,268 shares of common stock. Not stopping there, Williams also conducted an insider sell of 66,483 shares of common stock on the same day. And that's not all. Williams made another insider buy of 58,408 shares of restricted stock unit on October 1, 2023. However, he also sold 136,268 shares of restricted stock unit on the same day. But wait, there's more insider action. On October 1, 2023, Deirdre O'Brien made a noteworthy insider buy of 136,268 shares of common stock. Let's analyze the data. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, the insider power is calculated to be negative with a ratio of minus 20.405. In these trades, insiders purchased a whopping 2,315,546 shares and sold 3,644,150 shares. Hold on tight. We have some concerning news about this stock and a critical decision to make. Are you considering investing in Apple stock? Let's take a closer look at Apple's current situation and whether it's a good buy or not. Unfortunately, Apple is showing several negative signals, which suggests that it may not perform well in the near future. Upon analyzing the recent volatility in market movements, our systems indicate that the current price is overvalued. As for Monday, October 9th, we anticipate Apple's stock to open down by minus $1.27, starting at $176.22. Are you ready to take on the world of trading? But hold on, before you dive in, there are a few things you need to know. Trading can be a thrilling journey, but it also comes with risks. That's why it's crucial to have a financial advisor by your side. They can guide you through the ups and downs, helping you make informed decisions. Now, let's talk about StockInvest.us. Although it provides valuable information, remember that it should not be the sole basis for your investment choices. The power lies in your hands, and you are responsible for the consequences of your decisions. So, buckle up and get ready to navigate the exciting world of trading, but always remember to seek professional advice and take ownership of your investment decisions. Hey there, fellow investors. Are you ready to dive into the exciting world of stocks? We're here to give you our current view on a particular stock. But hey, we want to hear from you too. Do you agree or disagree? Don't hesitate to drop a comment below and share your valuable thoughts. We're all ears. Oh, and we're also curious about your target for this stock. Let's engage in a lively discussion. And hey, before you go, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. By doing so, you'll be the first to receive updates on the latest stock trends and tips. We're all about helping you succeed in your trading journey. So, buckle up and get ready for a beautiful day of trading. Wishing you all the best from the entire team here at Stock Invest.